more packages have arrived on Jackery solar system and I guess this is my mattress. I thought it was supposed to sign for it. Here's the battery. Solar panels. Okay. Oh, I was supposed to sign for this. That's the uh, Dometic refrigerator, which is awesome. Can't say anything good about that. I've had that about three days now. And uh, that's this over here. I think it's awesome. I got a little pop-up pod there to take a shower or use a restroom, whatever I want. And I also got some traction boards I put away already. In case I get stuck in the mud. All right, let's unbox this uh, Jackery. So this is the tri-fold three inch mattress, 75 inches long. As you can see, I'm gonna put in the back of the Forerunner to sleep on. So, looks pretty good. Got some good reviews. Um, Certainly won't take up much space and it folds up on itself. So let me, let me try it out. Jackery here, I'm gonna do the opening and I also have the Jackery uh, Solar Saga 100 watt solar panel. So let's unbox this baby. That's what I'm gonna open up the Jackery here. This was supposed to arrive yesterday and uh, for whatever reason it didn't and I also was supposed to sign for that air mat not air mattress that trifold mattress but he didn't ask me to sign he just left everything I've been hanging out all day for nothing so this is the Jackery Explorer 1000 yeah it's literally a box in a box. Woo! Okay, I got the right side up, I guess. Very well packaged. Very, very well packaged. You need to do this action. Oh, seems like it gets heavier every box you take off. Oh, ah. Wow. Mm. That is some packaging. You think you see it. Oh, don't be another box in a box, please. Okay, first you got a very nice, this is a neoprene, like a wetsuit. This is not a nylon bag. This is really nice. I know what it is. It has all the cables in there. The uh, charging brick and the uh, cigarette lighter adapter. Oh, and this is a um, the split uh, cable. So if you get two Solar Saga panels, you use this cable to plug in two of them. And now for the bad boy. Ta-da! 29% charge. You get the three AC outlets, four USB connections, as the dust cover for the 12-volt uh, battery connector. That's the Anderson connector and the input connection uh, for your, um, um, I guess it's for both the AC no. Yes, that is the AC and the cigarette lighter. But you use this one with the dual setup if you have two solar sagas. Okay, let me pause this video and we'll get the uh, 
solar panel out. I was going to show you guys, it's got the flashlight, LED light on there. It's, uh, it's pretty big. It's bigger than your standard car battery, the whole box, like under the hood of your car. But you have a handle to carry it around. Let me see here. I mean, you know, it's not that bad. But it's a 1,000, so we got plenty of power. Okay, let me uh, get this uh, solar panel unboxed for you. Sorry how it's pointing down there, but this is the only way I can show you pretty good. I figure you want to see me open the, uh, the box as well. This shouldn't be as long. These are kind of pricey. And uh, I don't think I want two of them. I think one will be enough. But it's built just for the Jackery. You can use other solar panels with it, but this one is designed to be with it because it's got this little magnetic, uh, nice. Okay, like I said, we don't edit around here. <laughs> the uh, tape on that uh, bubble wrap there just grabbed my phone and threw it across the room. So right inside here, is the pocket that has the cable right in there. And it stays attached right inside the, uh, the solar saga. And you just connect this right to the input. Boom. But let me show you the, uh, the panel, how it opens up. Got this nice handle here that but uh, again this is the third generation this is the latest in the uh, solar saga 100 watt panel and uh, I'm going to take it outside and see how many watts here in Sarasota Florida and the sun is putting into this jackery that's sitting here right now with 39 percent so let's go outside and take a look so I've now placed the solar saga 100 watt jackery panel on its legs and the sun's just about ready to come out from behind that cloud i don't know if the angle works better oh yeah look at that wow wow 100 watts almost 91 92. i saw videos where it showed average of 60 to 65 watts uh, with the solar panel but apparently on the angle and a lot of sun <laughs> uh, does work better than laying right on its flat side. Sun is right there. Let's take another reading here. Sun's going as hard as it can right now. 86, 85. I'm very happy with that because that's as close to 100 watts. I didn't expect that. Um, that would uh, would be a hundred. Wow, the sun's really baking on my back right now. It's very hot here in Sarasota. So this is exciting because now you have unlimited source of energy, as long as you got sun. And with 1000 watts, the battery will last uh, hopefully a few days. So you don't have to worry about if there's a rainy day or cloudy day. Now what I wanna do is get my Dometic CFX3 35 liter electric fridge cooler plug it in and see if you know I know you can charge the cooler while charging the Jackery with the solar uh, so you're using uh, you can kind of just replenish what uh, what you're using and I'm, I'm wanting to know I think I heard that you are more efficient using the 12 volt battery plug-in to charge the, um, to keep the cooler running, than to actually use the 110 AC outlets because of the uh, converter, actually it's a pure sine wave, but it actually takes a few watts to run the converter. 
So maybe I heard that if I just uh, use my uh, fridge with the battery plug there, the 12 volt. So I'm gonna see how many watts it pulls, pulling zero now because I have nothing plugged in. I'm gonna see how many watts it pulls um, using the electric cord and the 110. So let's get the Dometic cooler out here and check it out. Okay, everyone, I've got the uh, Jackery with the solar panel and the new 2021 Dometic CFX3 35 liter fridge I've had for a few days, had it plugged in in the house. This thing is absolutely amazing. I'm gonna buy that cover. It's $130, it's a neoprene. I'm out of breath because it's not light. I just brought it out here and there's something inside of it too. So you can see uh, it's 34 degrees and I don't know if it shows how much it's drawing on here. But anyway, back to the uh, seven watts is all. Oh, I forgot guys. I had a senior moment. Everything in these areas are dead until you turn them on. Like here's the AC. I turn it off. Look, the watch just went to zero. I'm right. Turn that on. I heard a little fan for a second. The converter actually draws one or two or three watts. So I'm turning that off. And the reason we don't see what the cooler is drawing right now is because the DC is off. I'm going to turn it on. Watch the watts go up now right here. Of how many watts it takes to charge the cooler. The cooler is on. Again, hardly anything. The cooler is on. It's saying uh, DC 13.1 volts. I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, and I'm only putting out two watts. It's impossible. How can it be? Look at the look at the uh, input. Almost 100 watts, guys. I'm so stoked about the solar panel. I'm glad I bought. It. Those are 300 bucks. So, I got the DC on, and it's only taking two watts. Wow. I don't get it. All right, let me do something else. I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. All right, so, yeah, no such thing as a seven watt draw. This is on the battery. 49 watts, compressor is kicking as hard as it can on the Dometic. And it's right at 48 watts. The solar panel is struggling to get, has nothing to do with the uh, refrigerator, it's just that the sun goes in and out. Boy, it really makes a difference when there's no sun. So it could take some time to charge, although I'm up from 39 to 41% in the time I've been out here. And I got a, right at 50 watts, I'm gonna average it up, that the cooler takes to charge um, when the compressor is kicking. And I, I'm gonna go ahead and do my test again and see, see I turned that off, so that went dead. Plug this in and turn it on. And I heard the fan on the Jackery kick on and The compressor, I think, on the refrigerator shut off. Okay, there it goes. All right, for sure, yeah. It's the difference between the running the converter and just the battery. Look at that. We were at 47. It's almost 15 to 17 more watts to charge that fridge using the plug. So... Look at that, 63 watts. We were at 47 with the uh, DC. But I'm still putting in 90 watts solar. And this is all good. And my uh, wattage has gone up. I mean, my uh, power, 41%. Remember, we started out at 39%. 60 watts. 
And then when that compressor shuts off in a moment, I'm gonna go back to the uh, 12 volt, one more reading on it and hold it for a minute like I'm doing now to get the uh, actual reading. See so this kind of hovering around 60 to 63 watts. And uh, I know now I heard only one time on one YouTube video about it's more efficient to run on the 12 volt than the 110. But of course, if you're in your home and you get the 100% uh, pure sine wave, you know, you use the outlet, the AC. So that thing is still running strong at 60 watts um, because I've got it out here in this hot sun and I've opened the lid a few times. So maybe I'll go ahead and put the 12 volt on now and see uh, what happens. Okay, I unplugged it and turn it off. So that's a zero now. Turn on the that doesn't change the wattage at all because it doesn't take anything. Plug in the cooler. One watt. And it is on. I'm looking at the cooler. I'll pause the video until it bumps on. Okay, here's where we stand. I'm, I'm sitting out here burning up in this heat. And the clouds uh, covered the sun, so I only got 21 watts going into the Jackery. But I cannot get the compressor on this such a little a sipper. This thing is a sipper. It doesn't run that much. It doesn't take much. I've had the door open and everything else. Wait a minute, we got a three watt here. That's the most I've seen. Uh, since the last clip, I can't get the compressor to kick on. Uh, to find out what the steady draw is on the DC outlet. We discovered it was 65 watts, 60 to 65 watts continuously when the compressor ran. But uh, it's bumping up now. Looks like a slow little rise. Weird. Um, oh, wait, here we go. It kicked on. All right, I, I knew when I started this video it would probably come on. Okay, so 48. 52, let's hold it here for a second and see, because remember we were like 60 plus, 60, 65 watts with the inverter um, using the solar to put back energy. I went back to 41% battery charge, came up to 50. I think it's conclusive that the uh, way I'll be using this will be only um, using the 12 volt when I'm out off grid. I will never use the AC to charge and run this cooler unless I'm in a house. Or I have a converter uh, 110 volt in my Forerunner uh, to get a quicker charge. I certainly will do that. And so I might consider one day getting the other solar panel and having the dual set up uh, to get 200 watts of charge, but I'm getting a good 90 watts when the sun is out. Right now, the sun is not out. There's a cloud over the sun. It makes a huge difference. These things, you could have six solar panels. If there's no sun, you're not getting anything. But I can see it's definitive now. We use this right here to run our cooler. We do not use this. All right. So uh, thanks for viewing everybody with the uh, brand new everything Jackery 1000 paired with the CFX 35, brand new Dometic, love it. And the uh, Solar Saga 100 watt Jackery solar panel. You got $900, you got $1,000, and you got $300. So you've got $2,200, and I was able to save $180 on the cooler with a coupon, and they're offering the Jackery at $100 off right now, which they very seldom do. So I saved almost $300. So it was uh, 1200 and something, I think, for these two here shipped, and then I got that for seven, $750 with tax. The tax came back on that one. 
So what's that? 1250 and seven. Um, uh, under 2000 under $2,000. And, but you have the best cooler in the world. It goes down to eight degrees below zero. You've got the 1000 Jackery, not the 500 that put them on the map. This thing will power the neighborhood. Um, and the 100 watt, not the 60 watt. And the latest third generation with the bigger squares. So I'll get the latest and the greatest for less than 2000 and I'll have it for years. So that's all I can say. I'm proud to have it. Once you pull the trigger and you get it, uh, I will have to spend another $129. I want that cover for my cooler and uh, make it look really nice. And I like that uh, little bag they give you for your accessories on the battery there. There's also a bag you can buy for those too, but I don't know if I need it. It's already in a nice um, plastic container there. So thanks for viewing my video, everybody. Uh, we got our fountain fixed recently over here on the pond, so we're happy about that. Only took them six months.